Marvel, go home. You're drunk. Shang-Chi and the annoyingly long title is Marvel's next attempt to turn a C-tier superhero into a mainstream success. Shang is the son of Wen Wu, yes, an actual villain worth remembering. Shang fled his father to live his own life, only to be dragged back when a chance encounter with the Ten Rings prompts him to find and warn his sister in China. The two of them are then captured by the Ten Rings and soon learn their father wants to find and free their late mother in Ta Lo, the dimension she came from, and so Shang, his sister, and others must now make a stand against Wen Wu and the Ten Rings. What a pretentious douchebag Simu Liu is. An Asian lead actor people can look up to. Screw you. You stand on the shoulders of giants and only because of crap wire tricks with none of the elegance of Michelle Yao. Ironic, since Michelle is here and the wire tricks look like Mulan with the budget of Arrow. Although, admittedly, there is one decent fight scene. The clash between Shang and, uh, I had to look this character's name up, Death Dealer is the highlight of the film for me. This is because these two actors are probably the only properly trained martial artists and are also younger. So as I stated, it is one of the best fight scenes in the whole MCU. The rest of the fights are laughable and not in the Jackie Chan kind of way. They're all overloaded with CGI and the compositing is just as bad as Black Widow's. Touching back on the previous point, the rest of the cast is untrained, old, or both. This slows the fights down tremendously, and I feel like Officer Hops in the DMV. And talk about wasted characters. Aquafina, besides having the worst name I've ever heard, is also horrible in comedy roles. Nothing she says is fitting, and attempting to confuse an assassin trying to kill you by reciting Hotel California just does a disservice to the Eagles. And she's got plot armor thicker than a British Challenger, too! And she's dragged along like... Well, all the main characters. Let's take the sister, for example. She doesn't even bring a sandwich to the table. She's like Harley Quinn and Rey combined. She was told she couldn't train to fight like the boys, so she trained herself and is now better than all of them? On top of that, she was 16 when she traveled to China to create an underground fighting empire? Are you taking the piss? I'd sooner believe she made Steve Jobs' first iPod before accomplishing what she has in the film. And Shang, ugh, the dude might as well be a purse with how much he's carried around the film. Also, the pacing is bipolar like Robin Williams on the lithium. It's fast in the beginning, rushing through the first 30 minutes, then slows down to smell the roses, only to speed back up again towards the end, because if we go fast enough, no one will question the flaws. And flaws there are a plenty. Why does the father need a map to find the portal when he did it on foot? before? Why doesn't the father notice the creatures flying out of the barrier every time he punches it? How does Ben Kingsley know what the little creature says? For the matter, why are you even here? Why is there another, another secret society that's been altering the course of history but never came up until an undue retcon? On top of that, why is there another, another civilization with super advanced technology beyond what we've seen before but is still less efficient than guns? Marvel wasn't exactly great in the first place, but watching what's happening now Oh, good lord, you guys should have waited. Instead, you rushed out the door with half-assed scripts and have struck out on everything released since Infinity War. And Shang-Chi is no different. It's not good. One decent fight scene and some unrefined father-son drama cannot counterbalance all the piss-poor comedy, the bass backwards character decisions, and unbelievable amounts of untethered world-building this film throws at us almost like comic book films are going out of style. Now. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, ring the bell for notifications, and if you want to watch more movie reviews, watch me dump on the already soiled diaper that was Candyman. And I'll see you in the next video.